Greetings, beautiful people. It's your girl Claudie from cookiewithclaudie.com. Let's make the best ever super tasty banga soup like a pro. Trust me, whenever you try this recipe, it's gonna hit the spot. So let us jump right into the ingredients. Start by adding some broth inside a pot. My broth already has salt and seasoning powder, so I will not be needing salt and seasoning powder anymore. Bring that to a boil, and at this point, we're going to bring in some coarsely blended peppers and onion. I'm just putting that one for flavor. It, it gives your banga soup a really, really, really good flavor. You do not need tomatoes in banga soup. Now, I'll bring my banga or the palm nut concentrate i'm using 800 grams that's one can you can get this concentrate from any african grocery store now i'll put that inside my pot and i'll bring that to a boil as well cooking with Claudie. Cooking with Claudie, easy, simple recipe. Ah, cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy, simple recipe. Ah, so for more of the ingredients to follow, I uh, will be adding in some pre-case or some egg and fruit. You do not need to grind or blend that, okay? Put it whole you can just cut it and i have my banga spice here you can get it also from the from your local grocery market crayfish i have some banga leaves you can use scent leaves as well and i have some hot pepper powder go ahead and give that another ghost there and you want to bring that to a boil until the oil from the palm nut floats to the top before we're going to bring in our seafood as you can see i changed my pot because the other pot was too big and deep so i did something shallow now that has been boiling you see the oil flows you can now bring in your seafood the shrimp and my um catfish has been perfectly washed you can use periwinkles you can use smoked fish whatsoever but trust me i do not eat periwinkles so so yeah i'm not gonna be using that now at this point i'm just gonna cover so my fish and everything cooks in there then after some time everything has been cooked it is ready to serve right away you can taste to adjust any seasonings like i told you from before i will not be adding some salt and seasoning powder because my stock already has that so you can just taste to adjust anything you need to add so now go ahead and serve this right away so i want to know in the comment section what you would like to serve with yours i served mine with rice yeah and the next day i served it with fufu so the soup took me for two whole days yeah and guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching until we meet again thank you so so much and stay safe